Hey YouTube, what's going on? Hershey Addict here. Today, we have a pretty important news update about Hershey Park regarding their mask policy. Five days ago, Hershey Park made an official operational statement basically saying they are lifting the mask policy from their park. They will not be enforcing the use of masks. And this video, I'm gonna give my thoughts about it. Now, Hershey Park made this announcement about five days ago, and a lot of people have been reaching out to me saying what my thoughts were, what I think about this. In this video, I'm gonna lay it all out, but before we get into that, I just wanna put a disclaimer. This is all just my personal opinion. I'm not saying everything I'm saying is fact, and that is what you have to believe. In fact, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think about the policy in the comments down below throughout the video. But I just wanna put a quick disclaimer. This is all my opinion, but that all the way, let's go into Hershey Park's mask policy update. So about a week ago, Hershey Park posted on all their social media platforms their operational update regarding masks. This is what their response said. Throughout this pandemic, we have followed the guidance from our national and state health experts to provide a safe environment for our guests and team members. The CDC and the Pennsylvania Department of Health conducted that those who are fully vaccinated are no longer required to wear face coverings in most situations. Our revised policy, consistent with both the CDC and Pennsylvania Department of Health guidance, states that face coverings and social distancing for those who have been fully vaccinated will no longer be required while visiting Hershey Park. Of course, all vaccinated guests are free to continue wearing their face coverings if they choose to do so. It is important to note that all guests two years of age and older who are not fully vaccinated must wear face coverings during their visit except while eating or drinking. At this time, we will rely on our guests to accurately follow the guidelines based on their vaccination status. It is important that we continue to remain vigilant and work together to prioritize the health and safety of those around us. We appreciate our guests partnering with us in following all guidelines. So yeah, those are Hershey Park's new max policies. So what are my thoughts on this? To be completely honest, I love the actual policy itself. You know, the COVID vaccine is out, it's available. I encourage everybody to go get it. If you haven't gotten your vaccine yet, go get it. But that's not the point of this video. But if you have the vaccine and the CDC tells you you don't have to wear a mask anymore, then there's no reason Hershey Park should be enforcing masks on people that are vaccinated. I'm fully down with that. I also love how they mentioned that if you are not vaccinated, you are still required to wear a mask. I love all that. I agree with all that. I couldn't word it or phrase it any better myself. Here's my problem with the update, and I'm not really blaming Hershey Park for this since there's not really much they can do about it, but the problem is that they're going to be relying on their guests to accurately follow the guidelines. And while I would love to have faith in humanity as a whole, let's just be honest. In fact, I've been to the park multiple times since they've announced this, and I'm seeing it firsthand where guests that are not vaccinated are not wearing masks while claiming they are vaccinated when they actually aren't. In fact, I've been to Hershey Park two times since they've announced this, and at least in my personal experience on those two days, I would say about 60% of the guests that were at Hershey Park were not wearing masks. And there could be a chance that the entirety of that 6% are fully vaccinated, but I find that very hard to believe. I feel like many guests now are just going to claim they're vaccinated and they don't have to wear a mask. In my personal opinion, that's just not really good regarding the safety of everybody. We are so, so close to the finish line. And just to take a shortcut like this when we are so, so close, I just find it completely irresponsible. If it were up to me, if I was in charge, I would just keep the mask mandate all together. Or if you want to keep the guests that are fully vaccinated, make them show their COVID-19 vaccination card at the entrance and maybe give them a hand stamp or a sticker or something or at least check their cards so that way we can somewhat enforce the policy again though i'm not really sure what the legal side of that is i'm not sure if people can provide hershey park with their vaccination documents or not that's just what i would do if i was in charge but i am not hitting on what hershey park is doing at all we live in a free country that's what makes america so great is the freedom and they are putting the responsibility in the guest hands so if you're going to hershey park if you're vaccinated, enjoy the park without a mask. You got your shot, that's awesome. If you're not vaccinated yet, that's a completely fine. I understand that if you don't want to get the shot, that is strictly up to you. But I do ask that you follow the park policies and wear your mask and socially distance if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet. And I completely understand the other argument people will argue as well. They can be like, well, JD, no one's forcing you to go to amusement park. If you don't feel safe at amusement park, then simply don't go. And I totally understand that too. I completely get where you're coming from, and I understand both sides. But if you're personally asking for what I think, I believe that if you aren't vaccinated, you should be wearing your mask. I wish the park would try to enforce the policy a bit more, but they aren't, which is completely fine. Again, 
I'm not trying to bash Hershey on this. We are in unprecedented times, to put it simply, and I know all these businesses are trying to do their best they can while balancing the safety aspect in the business aspect. Hershey Park is still a business after all. They're trying to make money, but they also are trying to keep people safe. And they are trying to tackle and combine all these challenges, juggle them all at once. And I applaud Hershey for that. In fact, I think they've done a wonderful job throughout this entire pandemic process and reopening an amusement park. I know it couldn't have been easy, but Hershey Park did it. I'm truly, really blessed to have Hershey Park as my home park, to have a park as elite as great and as responsible as Hershey Park as my home park, I will never take it for granted. I'm so thankful to have Hershey Park as my home park. And while I don't 100% agree with this operational update, I agree with most of it. I, there's a couple things I would have changed. Again, that's just my personal opinion. If you disagree, that is totally fine. Again, that's what makes this country as amazing as it is. At the end of the day, Hershey Park is doing their best, and that's all we can ask for. But again, all he asks is that you follow the guidelines. Hershey Park is putting the trust into its customers' hands. The customer is always right at the end of the day, so that's very awesome. But if you're vaccinated, enjoy the park without a mask. If you don't want a mask, get vaccinated. In fact, just the other day, I got my first shot. Can't wait to get my second shot. And I encourage you guys to get to get your shot, too. If you don't want to get your shot, that is completely fine. But I and my fellow park goers ask that you follow the park's policy and you wear a mask as well. But again, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the policy and what you would change, what you wouldn't change. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But with that, that's all I got. Hershey Park has updated their mask policy, and it should be interesting to see how things play out in the coming weeks. Hopefully, we're on the telltale end of this pandemic. I'm so ready to return to life, to normalcy. And I'm sure you are too. But until then, we're just going to work with what we got. But that is all I have for you. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. And if you're new here, subscribe. For amazing Hershey Park content, if you love Hershey Park, this is the number one place for you. But with that, from the Swedish show on Earth to Swedish heroes on Earth, the Hershey Act bid you all farewell. We have a great rest of your day, guys, and I will see you soon. Peace.